2022-23 Harvard men's ice hockey season began with much anticipation. Harvard returned four of its top five scorers and starting goaltender Mitch Gibson from the 2021-22 team that made a memorable run to win the White Law Cup as ECAC hockey champions. The Crimson did not disappoint in the early stages of the season, starting the year with seven straight wins, its best start since the 1988-89 National Championship season. Perhaps the highlight of Harvard's early season success was its much anticipated visit to line a rink to face off against rival Cornell. In a tight defensive battle, Harvard evened the score late in the second period at 1-1 to set up a frenetic finish. Oh, Coronado, now it's a breakaway chance for Farrell. Farrell in on Shane alone, shooting! Stick stop made, rebound is loose, they score! In overtime, junior forward Sean Farrell skated in on a breakaway and scored to give Harvard a dramatic win in front of the hostile crowd. Harvard took an 8-2-1 record into the holiday break and played some of its toughest competition of the season heading into the new year. Senior goaltender Mitchell Gibson was phenomenal in a close 2-1 overtime loss at Boston University in Harvard's last game of 2022. On New Year's Day, Harvard enjoyed its most prolific offensive effort of the season, defeating Mike Richter award winner Devin Levi and the Northeastern Huskies in an 8-4 victory in front of a packed house at the Bright Landry Hockey Center. The late game magic continued for Harvard in the second half of the season, as the Crimson led the nation with seven overtime goals. On January 6th at Princeton, Harvard had perhaps its most memorable overtime win of the year. Trailing 3-0 with less than 10 minutes remaining in the third period, Harvard's top line took over the game. Sophomore forward Matthew Coronado tied the game with 2.20 remaining in regulation. Flying down the right wing and hitting the top corner after a center ice turnover caused by his linemate Sean Farrell. In overtime, Alex LaFerriere won it with a diving wrist shot from the high slot. Against LaFerriere, LaFerriere shot, score! What a comeback win, one for the ages and the Crimson pull it out, 4-3 in overtime. The OT magic continued two weeks later at Yale with Coronado and Farrell once again in the middle of it all and again the following weekend at Colgate with another late game comeback fueled by senior captain Henry Thrun and you guessed it, Matt Jeez. Coronado. Coronado scores! And it's over! That game was followed by one of the team's most complete performances of the season, a 6-2 win over rival Cornell in front of a sold out crowd at Bright Landry. In the opening game of the 70th Bean Pot, Harvard and Boston College battled to the end as the Crimson led for most of regulation behind goals from Coronado and first year forward Merrick Haydu, who would be heard from later in the game. A late game comeback by the Eagles forced overtime and the game appeared destined for a shootout. But in the final seconds, Alex LaFerriere found Hayduke on a two on one who hit the back of the net with 1.5 seconds remaining to send the Crimson to its first Beanpot final since 2017 where it would face Northeastern. In a back and forth battle, the Crimson took a lead behind a pair of goals from Coronado, had chances to win the game in overtime, but would succumb to the Huskies in a shootout. A disappointing loss did not shake the confidence of the Crimson, 
as Harvard rattled off six straight wins to take them to Lake Placid and the final four of the ECAC hockey tournament. What he does come playoff time. Hayden to the back post and the Crimson score! What a feed! Showing some of his skill. One time shot, it's deflected in by Carpa. There, it would take on familiar rival Cornell once again. As the game remained scoreless heading into overtime, the Crimson continued its flair for the dramatic. On a beautiful rush up ice, senior captain Baker Shore found Alex Laferriere for the game winner at 428 of the extra frame. In the conference final against Colgate, facing a two goal deficit against the Raiders, Harvard nearly rallied to tie, but ultimately fell short of his second straight White Law Cup in a 3-2 defeat. The Crimson returned to the NCAA tournament for the 27th time in program history, the sixth time in the last seven seasons, and the eighth time in the Ted Donato era. Harvard's season came to an end in Bridgeport against Ohio State, but the Crimson enjoyed another successful campaign. Harvard's senior class will go down as one of the most successful in program history, having won 79 games during their careers at Harvard.